Hai, Cikgu Hana is here. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning, a very good day to all viewers. It's not only morning, so good day all day round. Okay, uh, I am going to share with you uh, a tutorial on how to make a video using a video maker called uh, UCAT. Um, this uh, tutorial is especially made actually for my students who need to combine two videos as one meaning that they need to have a group presentation but uh, because they live far uh, apart from each other so um, they need to uh, do a separate uh, presentation but combine it in one video so uh, let me bring you to UCAT. First of all, you need to install it in your handphone. So since I'm using Android, so I'll go to Play Store. And then in Play Store, you could write UCAT. Alright, so UCAT Video and Movie Maker. Then you tap on it. Since I have already installed it in my handphone, so I would just click open. Otherwise, you need to install first in your handphone. All right. So when I click open, it brings me to this feature. Mm -hmm. So if you could uh, look at the plus sign at the bottom of the screen, you click on it and then you click on new project. All right. It will bring you to your storage in your handphone. So um, you combine, you need to uh, find two uh, video clips that you want to combine. Okay, let's say I am combining uh, this video and another one is, uh, okay, so let's say I'm combining the two videos, yeah? All right, one and two. So combining two videos, one is this video and another one is this video. All right. So I will, uh, so now these videos are combined. It's just that if you want to do a little bit of cosmetics, meaning that you want to include um, the introduction or you want to uh, include text or sticker, or music, background music, you could do that. So the features are at the bottom here. Or you want to record a voiceover, make it an introduction. So you could do that. All right. So um, first, I am going to teach you on how to um, have uh, a background music. All right. So I just tap on the music over here. And then it will bring you to the music that you have in your handphone. So you have to make sure that you have the music in your handphone. If you don't, if uh, you could use y2mate.com to uh, download uh, the music. All right. So let's say um, I want. All right. You could trim actually. Okay. You could use the music. And then since uh, background music shouldn't be too loud, so you just click on uh, the yellow uh, line or the yellow band over here, that's the music. And then you click on the volume and then you just slide to the left uh, to minimize the volume. So let's say I want it to be 50. Right? So... Uh, because the video has the original sound, all right, and uh, you just want to have uh, the music, the background music, uh, just to to um, accessorize the video, okay. Uh, and then let's say you want to make an introduction. Uh, you could also um, include text, okay. You could include text, uh, or um, let me see, I make it in English. Uh, 
group presentation all right group presentation presentation by let's say uh norley and fina okay so you could adjust the size the size of your text all right okay so because you want to uh okay that's it then if let's say you want to have the text throughout uh, this video so you could drag okay or maybe half of the video so you could drag the text so that the text is there okay let's uh, look at it okay now um, another thing that i want you uh, to know is let's say you are not said you want to uh, reduce the sound uh, of the original uh, video so you could click on the video and then you go to volume and then you could reduce the sound so that it won't be too loud. All right, so mm -hmm. test another time. See, the sound has already been reduced. Okay, now another function that I want to uh, teach okay i have uh, taught you the music function and the text function another function would be uh, if you want to trim the video let's say the video is too long and you want to trim it so you just click on it and then you just slide it and cut it all right okay you just slide it um and this one let's say uh, you also like for example the music is too long so you could just slide and drag it so that it would just stop where the video stops okay and uh, for this one okay if you if you want to listen to the sound the original video i don't really like it <laughs> So I want to mute the original sound of this video. So I'll just click on the video and then go to volume and then mute it. So it won't make no sound. Only the background music would be heard. So let us look at it. <laughs> So only the background music is there but uh, this um, a video are two performances that i combine but if it is a group presentation let's say you are to teach or do a micro teaching so you combine two videos and then um, probably uh, a very reduced sound of a background music and if you want to include text uh, it's also possible and another thing if you want to include sticker all right so you could include emoji okay you could also include picture all right so let's say uh, you want to pick any picture uh, in your storage in uh, of your handphone um, my zapito all right so you could do it like that okay all right so i would suggest um in the beginning of the video uh, because you are combining it's a group work so the beginning of the video the first person would introduce yourself and mention the name of your group members and then uh you in between uh your presentation you would um, also mention your members uh, group members name and then at the end you would say that your uh, friend will uh, continue the presentation and talk about uh, whatever that she will talk about so it shows in the video that you actually uh, work together and it's a combined work it is not working in silo and you combine the video uh, together 
all right you are working together so you need to show in the video that you are working together meaning that you have to mention each other's name and uh, you have to uh, tell uh, you will cover which part and your friend will cover which part and in the end the, the last person who would uh, uh, present in the video would uh, thank everybody and then mention your group members name again all right okay once you have done that once you are satisfied with your video so you would click on save all right so you just keep the draft in case you want to uh repair or do some adjustments or add some more information later so you just save it to you since okay since it is a free app so um advertisements will pop up all right so you would have to wait um for the video um for you cut to convert the whole thing into video and then it depends on your internet strength. If your internet is strong, then uh, it won't take that much time. And if your video is large and the internet is not strong, then of course it will take some time. Okay, but uh, this video is short. Um, and now the video is done. It has already been rendered. Okay, it is saved in the storage of your handphone. However, if you want to uh, directly uh, post it to your Google Classroom, you could do that. Okay, it will take me there. Otherwise, what you could do is you just uh, leave it in your device and then you upload uh, in your Google Classroom uh, through uh, the assignments given to you all right so um you could also um post your uh video in social media in whatsapp instagram youtube and so on all right so basically that's about it uh, it is a very easy to use you cut i only share with you the basic uh the basic part of it um so this is a draft um, so only the basic features, the basic functions, and the rest of the functions you can explore uh, by yourselves. Uh, but uh, I recommend you to use UCAT because there is no uh, watermark. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, hope it helps you. It helps you in uh, making video or combined video using this UCAT. All right. Until we meet again next time. Thank you for watching channel Cikgu Hana. Help me to subscribe this channel, like and comment and help me to share. Don't forget to press the bell. Bye-bye.